Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I am in Curl Draw, and I'm going to show you how to convert a bitmap image into a vector image using the trace tool in Corel Draw. So this is about converting a bitmap to a vector image, which was which is beneficial for being able to ungroup objects and detail or manipulate them for graphics or whatever purposes that you would need to use it for. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to do that, to get started, you've got to select the object and this is the object for for this video that we're going to use and I'm going to convert this image which is a JPEG image into a vector image where I can break it down or break it apart or change its color or do something like that also removing the white background so after I've got the object selected um, I can click trace bitmap and I'm going to start out with one of these uh, this right here you're going to choose the outline trace and I'm just going to say detailed logo once I've got the dialog box open I can change things about within this box as you can see it's running its course and it's converting it to a vector which it's just done I can use my slide bars here to detail the image or just do a little testing to see what changes will occur when I slide the tool or as I gradually slide the tool. Um, most of the time I don't have to do it if the image is simple enough but for more complicated images you may want to use these slide bars to um, to get a better the be to get a better result. So once I'm satisfied with the bitmap I've got some smooth edges here everything looks uh, almost the same or equally the same as the as the bitmap I just click OK um, now what that's done is place the uh, vector on top of the bitmap I can slide it over it's still one object as this is so the advantage of having converted this to a vector image is to To be able to um, maybe change its color or ungroup it, whatever I want to do. I'm going to slide it into the center of my page here and um, show you how to, um, the advantage of, of using uh, the trace tool or converting something to a vector. So I'm going to make this box a different color so that um, we can see everything. So we'll just make it black. Now I'm going to slide this over and show you how it looks now. And I'm going to arrange order to the front of page. So now I have this circle with still having some white in, in the image. So if I want to get rid of this white so that it blends in this box, I'm going to slide it back over here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to ungroup. And once I do that, um, these objects are no longer connected ungroup okay so I'm gonna do a control Z to get us back where I was so I'm gonna grab all of this again and I'm gonna slide it over so that you can see what I'm fixing to do here I'm gonna click outside on the page so that I can release having it uh, from where I drug it over and I'm gonna click this area here and I'm going to delete I'm going to click this area here and delete it and delete it. So the black is coming through from the background, which is what I want to do. If I want to change the color now of um, the different objects, I can do that too. I can make this blue. Um, I can make this white. Uh, or I can make this whatever color I want. I can just exit out and make it no color. Um, that's the advantage of changing a bitmap to a vector image. And so I hope this video has helped. And if you have any questions, you can call here at Condi Systems Tech Support Department. My name is Vicki, and thank you for your time.